morning friend today we are going to discuss about the spatial data header in gis when we are going to creating the database there are different types of data header has come which is required to understand and this data header is creating through our digitizing the database or we doing incorporating of the data how are we will discuss the in details regarding the special data error that is most of the we know that most of the data error is come during our digitizing that is digitizing refers to the uh, means uh, which is obtained of existing layer or newly digitized map from the initial digitizing so there are several causes of digitizing error first is the human error human error in manual digitizing by missing geometric object or digitize the same line twice suppose there is a line we can digitize the same line twice in this way. so this is a one of the main this is a human error second one is the during scanning or tracing by scanning and tracing when raster line meets or intersect a too close together a too wide together or too thin and broken it includes the collapse of the line or mishappen lines or extra lines or maybe the duplicate lines So this type of error has come during our scanning or tracing. And another is the when we converting the digitized map into real world coordinates. then the location error has come and this conversion can cause the discrepancies between the digitized line and the sources line which is causes the discrepancies between the source line and digitized line so these are the three major sources of the digitizing error which is one is the human error scanning or tracing and the discrepancies between the source line and digitized line when we will convert it into the digitized map into the real world coordinates so there are two major types of the digitizing error one is known as the locational error and another one is the topological error locational error locational error refers to geometric inaccuracies of digital features that is geometric inaccuracies digitized features the 
that is cost may be due to the from the primary resources or secondary resources in primary resources of location error that is to the direct data procurement procedure that is connected with in the field exception like paper maps in paper maps that are most common error of the location error new during the or new data entry through uh, like uh, gps or uh, dgps survey or some means uh, automatic instrument that are available in the market so when you are directly incorporating the data into the gs database that may cause the location errors another important location error is the like a uh, spatial resolution of satellite data that is a pixel size that is also causes the location error in the primary resources now is the secondary resources this is an indirect methodology that employs the vast amount of current geospatial data during their accessibility like when you are going to comparing the digitized map and source map it cannot be same during considering our tolerance level suppose there is one organization that another organization they are doing a project they are also doing the same project so they are considering the tolerance suppose 1 meter they are considering the tolerance level of 5 meter so this inaccuracy causes the locational errors another important is the scale of the map that we know that the large scale and small scale concept in small scale we can view the large areas but with a in smaller details where is small small sorry small scale in large scale we can view the small area but with a larger details so during our scanning or collecting of the data if we consider if we getting the information or acquiring information in small scale map we can lose lot of information so this is one of the locational error now coming to the topological errors topology that is about the spatial relationship between the geometric features geometric features these are point line 
and polygon. So it creates the special relationship between these geometric features. So in when we are creating the JS database, we found lots of topological errors during our digitizing of the points, line and these polygon features. Under suit. At the time of digitizing, when there is a gap between two arcs, this is called undershoot. During your digitizing, there is a line that is overextended, which is known as overshoot. dangling node if one node is present in the end of an arc that are not connected to an arc this type of node is known as the dangling node this is one of the topological errors. Pseudo node. Suppose if node is appeared in a continuous arc, this is called pseudo node. That is pseudo node. wrong arc direction so the stream is flowing in this way but we have a direction we are digitizing in this way so this is a error of wrong arc direction missing level If there is a two polygon, there is no any point. So this is called the missing level. Duplicate level. This is called the error of duplicate level. Intersection. During the intersection, if there is a no notice appeared, there is no notice appear. This is also a topological error. So there are several more topological errors like. Switch back. Knots and loops. This type of error are introduced when the digitizer has an unsteady hand. In case of switchbacks, there is extra vertices are introduced. So in, in this type of polygon, so there is the extra vertices are introduced and the lines ends up with a bend it. 
This is called the switchbacks. With knot and ropes, the line folds back into itself and creating the small polygon, which is known as the knots and ropes. Silver. There is a gap and this is called silver. Silver are the gaps in digitizing polygon layers where adjoining polygons have gaps between them. This is called silver. So these are the basically special data error which is found in the GIS database. So when we are going to creating the JS database, we need to consider this topological and the locational errors. Thank you for watching this video.